Hi everyone, it's Miss Beryl. Today we're going to be doing some multiplication. We're going to be estimating products using rounding. I have a little key over here to help you. A little memory thing. So we have, we love zeros. When we multiply, we like to round all our numbers to get as many zeros as we can in the number. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Our problem states, if there are 52 flights from Dallas to Chicago each day, and there are 182 people on each flight, about how many people fly from Dallas to Chicago each day? All right, I'm going to visualize this for a minute. I'm at the airport. I'm seeing that there's 52 flights that are going to get people from Dallas to Chicago each day. And on each flight, there's a lot of people. There's 182 people on each flight. And I need to find out about how many people then are getting from Dallas to Chicago. So I'm going to circle my important info I need. I need 52 flights. I don't really care about the Dallas to Chicago information because that doesn't really become part of the problem too much. So we're going to then circle 182 people on each flight because that's important because it's people that we're measuring. About how many people fly from Dallas to Chicago each day. Now this tells me I need this about right here. does tell me that I need to estimate um, but also, right on my paper, it says I need to estimate. And it tells me what I need to do. So here we are. We're back at loving our zeros when we multiply. I'm going to rewrite the number to, I mean, the, I'm going to rewrite the um, problem in a number sentence. 52 times 182 equals something. All right, and I know that I need to round. I'm going to pick another pen color so we can go through this. I need to round to get as many zeros, so that means I'm rounding to the nearest 10. And I'm looking at the 2, which tells me the 52 rounds to 50. Here, trying to get the biggest, um, the most number of zeros. So I'm looking at the 1, and then to its partner over there, the 8. And the 8 is telling me that I need to bump up my 1 to a 2 and round to 200. So my new problem is now 50 times 200 equals something. So this is about 50 flights times about 200 people gives me about the total number of people that end up in Chicago. You can write this problem two different ways. Most of you are used to writing it in this direction. 200 times 50, so that you have the big number on the top. If you do that, then what you want to think about here is you want to remember that zeros are super important, and we're going to count how many zeros we have. We have a total of three zeros, so that means my answer is for sure going to have three zeros at the end, in the hundreds and the tens and the ones place. Then I'm going to multiply my two and my five. Well, that is ten. So there's another zero. Now I'm going to put in my comma to separate my place value, and I get the answer 10,000. Okay, so this is if you like to do your problems up and down the vertical way. I actually prefer when I'm working with a lot of zeros and rounding, I like to see them side by side. For some reason, my brain works that way, but you can do it how, whatever works the best for you. So go ahead and experiment with what might be your favorite way of doing it. All right, so what I would do in my brain is I go 2 times 5, and I write that here. Now I count my zeros, and I have 1, 2, 3. So I put them right over there, and I get the same answer. 10,000. So my answer to about how many people fly from Dallas to Chicago each day is 10,000. That's it.